Hello and welcome my cheese nuggets, how you doing today? We got some balloons, Mucky City, we're gonna do another tutorial video for you, hopefully they're not, not doing too many for you guys, you know, but trying to, you know, keep it, keep it simple, keep it plain, just kind of get, uh, something sort of organized at least a little bit. I got something special for you today though. I'm not just going to talk about the game today, I'm going to talk a little bit about myself. I feel like we've done some pretty solid tutorial videos, this is one of those ones where it seems like it's kind of difficult, but it really isn't, it's actually not bad at all. I'm still going to go over the steps for you guys, you guys can figure it out fairly easily, but let's kind of indulge in, into the crispness a little bit. If it loads, because let me check this out, man, it's low, look at that, 2%, 5%, 20%, and other percent alright, I hate when that happens, you know, you would think it would be like a nice even bar, but no not the way they do it. So here we go. Let's talk about the game first. So first of all, this is kind of a weird map because it's one of the only ones where you got two spots where they come in and two spots where they leave. So it seems like it's going to be really, really bad, right? Not so much because you got a really awesome, ex like really expert pro sauce kill zone right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to monkey village start. Now this is one of those weird things that I don't, all, I don't always do, uh, but it's, it's a good thing. <laughs> Just do it. So we're going to get a ninja and basically what you want to do is you want to make sure you leave some space in here. So we're going to get two ninjas, we're going to get one here, and we're going to get one here. Um, we're going to get one of them up to fourth here really, really quickly, and we're also going to get a random mortar. So we're going to get the mortar. I'm not going to put them in the range of the monkey village because I don't have a lot of space. I've put a lot of cans in here and everything. So we're going to put the mortar kind of randomly over here, and just make sure he pops the leads before he gets to the ninjas. Now we're going to put this in non non-stop mode and everything, and it seems like I got everything pretty much set up. You know, I got everything set up for me. And that's what we need to do. Holy crap, Ola, man. We got a lot of hardcore balloons coming in here. We got blacks coming in already. Woo! That is crazy. So I wasn't really expecting blacks to come out right away, which led me to having to use a set of road spikes already. If I would have known that, I would have, you know, not gotten a mortar right away. Instead, gotten a quick double shot. Sadly, you can't change the past. You can only change. You can only steer your way into the future, my friends. So is that like an, uh, I don't even know, uh, a motivational speaker right, speaker right there? Was that a motivational speaker? Hopefully. Steer yourself into the future? Yeah, all right, we're gonna go with that. Also, another weird thing, you could go for like a two third tier ninjas. I don't know, I don't really recommend it, but I'm just saying it's an option. It's definitely an option for you. So anyways, the story that I wanted to tell you, first of all, I have to tell you guys that bacon is absolutely delicious. Okay, that's not even my story. I just, I had to tell you. Bacon is the most delicious thing in the entire world. Uh oh, what do we got coming out here? Ooh, just some blacks. <laughs> Silly little blacks. Actually, there's a pretty big black rush. Oh my goodness. Now that would be scary. A giant black rush. Oh my goodness. Need one set of road spikes, and that's all we needed. Oh my goodness. We'll use two sets of road spikes, and we're still alive. I'm actually a bit surprised that these balloons are leaking, though. I don't know. I feel like it's it's very dangerous. This is a very dangerous thing. So it's cooking bacon this morning. I don't normally make bacon, but um, I've been like, we've been working out, and I feel like I earned the bacon, you know? We've been working out in the morning, which is kind of a weird thing to do. I don't know, I've always worked out at night. I've always done my night runs. Ooh, we got freaking whites coming out. Luckily, they're kind of spaced here. Uh, and how cheap are they? They're only $2,200, so ooh, yeah, definitely a good price. I've been working out in the morning, and I decided, you know, let's make some bacon. So I made some bacon, and <laughs> I'm really greedy with my bacon. Um, it's one of the only things that I'm greedy about is mostly food, and I, I, I would love not to be greedy, but I just am. I'm a greedy guy when it comes to bacon. So we're going to get more ninja upgrades, whatever we can. Ooh, we're going to get distraction as well. Make sure you get distraction. Don't forget about that, because I forgot about it once, and it equaled my death very quickly. So this should actually be very, very easy to take down, I would assume. We're going to use one set of road spikes really quick just to do that, and we distract most of them. Will we distract enough of them? And we... Ooh, that was really close, man. So one thing you got to be a little bit careful of is the ninja doesn't always shoot the way you want to. Sometimes he shoots the wrong way when these balloons are kind of leaving by, leaving or whatever. It doesn't exactly work out the way you want it to. But it's okay. It's not a huge deal. Especially, like, if you have uh, a bow coming on this side, then it's going to be a little bit more difficult. So here's some lead balloons. We're going to be a little careful here because we think the mortar's going to do a good job, but we just don't know that the mortar's going to take down every single one of these balloons. And it looks like, yes, he does. He takes down every single one of those lead balloons, and we feel good about ourselves. So this is one of the only maps. Um, the Oh, by the way, got, forgot to mention, guys, I totally messed it, messed it up earlier. I told people that this was a jungle tile, and that is wrong. That is absolutely wrong. It is not a jungle tile, it's a forest tile. This was in a previous video, by the way, just just so you guys know. So we're going to get this second fourth tier ninja, and hopefully these guys get distracted. Come on, come on, man! They did not get distracted. We have to use a few sets of road spikes again! I you know something funny? Every single one of the mobs I've been using one road spike on, and that one I decided, you know what, let's not do it. I'm going to get a fourth tier ninja, and it didn't work out. <laughs> so this time, and now we have two fourth tier ninjas, this will definitely work out. If it doesn't, I'm going to be really upset. And it does. 
perfect. All right, now let's get the burning stuff. We're also gonna go for a quick cannon in here because I'm kind of afraid of regular rainbows and stuff. Even with two fourth tier ninjas and a burning stuff cannon, we need a third tier cannon. Eventually, it's gonna be a fourth tier cannon. We're probably gonna sell that a little bit later on, but you know that's just that's for later decisions. Um, so the money, the money situation is gonna be kind of bad. We're not gonna get a lot of money in these maps. We have no farms. You know, farms are not allowed so that's not fun screw that i don't like that so here we go we got the third tier cannon right now we're gonna go for a 3-2 cannon just because i kind of want a 3-2 cannon i feel like he helps out he's actually a really good guy in here because there's so much space where he can destroy these guys and if you get a, a a lot of explosions going on you get him to act a little bit faster it really does make a difference so anyways as far as uh my bacon is concerned um i usually i we used to we have this skillet thing, and whenever I'm making pancakes, like I'm do like I'm like, all right, all right, we can make as much bacon as I want, but we don't have a huge pan. So whenever I'm making bacon, I don't feel like breaking the skillet out just to cook the bacon. It's not worth it, you know. If I'm making 18, if I'm making like eight pancakes or something, all right, then it makes sense. So anyways, with my bacon, hopefully Amanda's not listening outside the door or anything, because that would be very odd. But um, anyways, I make. I try and like rip the bacon slices to fit as much bacon as I possibly can inside that pan so that there's no issue. So anyways, we're going to get some Moab Maulers already. We're going to go whoop, and we're going to go whoop, and we're going to get these guys both up to Moab Maulers. Because you know what? It's only it's round 11, but things can change quickly. We can get a big bad, big bad BFB, big bad wolf BFB coming out pretty darn quick. So, um, with... I can't even, I can't get this bacon story out. There's too much stuff going on right now, guys. It's making me upset. It's making me upset. But it's all right. We're going to keep on pushing through, and hopefully someday, some. oh, look at that Regal Rainbows, man. It's okay. Screw the balloons. Nobody cares. You guys know what the heck's going on. So I fit as much bacon as I can in this pan. And at the end, if there's not enough, if they're like, I'm like, you can take whatever bacon you want, Amanda. But then I, I always like very, very sleekly like try and like stick some bacon under my eggs so it looks like I don't have as much bacon so she doesn't want to take as much bacon I also tell her to take the bacon instead of giving her the bacon because I want to make her like feel like she needs to give me more bacon if that makes any sense because then like she'll feel bad and be like oh Chris cooked all the bacon I shouldn't eat all the bacon right well, at least that's the plan because I, I want I'm greedy I want my bacon now again I'm not that greedy about most things but bacon definitely I'm a greedy guy when it comes to bacon so the other story that I wanted to tell you guys about, we're just going to be massing Moab Maulers for a little while. We're going to mass Moab Maulers until probably around 15 or 16, get four of them or whatever so we can stop BFBs, get this guy up to a 0-3 Monkey Village, get an Arctic Wind pretty soon after that, and that's pretty much the end of the game. That's all it takes, man. We're going to take this tile down really nice and easy. It was simple, right? Get a ninja, get him up to fourth here, get another ninja, get a mortar, get a cannon, a couple cannons, boom, dead. Uh, so, another thing is make sure you build them all inside the range of the Monkey Village. We, there's not much room to save money, and this, this is the only way that we can save money today, is by building things inside the range of this guy. Everything is 10% cheaper, and overall, that does save us a lot of money. If you really think about it, we're spending $50,000 or whatnot on these things, so we're saving five grand just by building a Monkey Village. So, yeah, highly recommended. So here's the first BFB. Now, as far as balloons go, I mean, this is going to be a little bit more of a problem than I was thinking. Uh, the BFB is going to be slightly problematic so we need to get the burning stuff going on in here and it looks like yeah we did a pretty good job but uh they they were they, were, they weren't easy so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna play it safe i am gonna get the signal flare just because i kind of want to uh and i'm gonna get a random spike factory in the back just because i feel like it i'm gonna get a random spike factory we're gonna you know micro around a little bit and we're gonna think about getting some sort of fourth tier can or something i don't know these balloons are still kind of problematic i mean they're not horrible the ninjas are definitely taking down most of them but if we have two bfbs or something on top of each other I would be kind of sad. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't want that to happen, really. So I'm going to put my spike factory right here. All right. That should be good enough for me. So anyways, the other story that I want to tell you guys this is a pretty quick story, I suppose. I was in my American government class. This was in, in high school, so it was, a, it was quite a while ago. And one of my... I was really quiet in that class. I had this one friend named Brandon, but I really... I mean, it wasn't like he was my friend. He was more of an acquaintance. He was, like, trying to talk to me, and I was just really shy still. Because I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a pretty shy guy. I know, it seems weird. I've I got 100,000 subscribers, 200, 250,000 subscribers, but Chris... You, you, you're shy? How do you talk to this many people? It's ridiculous, right? I don't know. I really don't understand. I just pretend like I'm talking to myself here. If there was 250,000 people in front of me, then it would be a different story. <laughs> Definitely a different story. But nonetheless, uh, uh, I don't even know. About halfway through the, through the semester, about one quarter in, 
we went up to, to the teacher and we had to talk to her about something random. I don't even remember exactly what we had to talk about. So I want to get that fourth year cannon. I'm feeling a little bit afraid of some of these balloons right now. We're going to make sure this guy's also on close instead of just first. I had him on first because I really didn't care, but now definitely close is fairly important to have. Um, so now that'll stop the balloons very, very easily, hopefully. All the things, again, in the range of the Monkey Village. And we're going to get that 0-3 Monkey Village because you know what? We're not expecting DDTs just yet, but we better get ready for them. Better get ready for him. And I went up and I talked to the teacher for a few minutes, and uh, it was like kind of a group conversation. It was like me and like two other kids and the teacher. And at one point, one of the questions she asked me was, "Do you have any friends?" Now that was, uh, you know what? So here's the thing. My feelings, not very easily hurt. All right, you can call me any name under the book. I, my feelings, I don't care. I had a brother who was super duper ridiculously mean to me, and he would call me every single name under the book. He would, everything, he would call me a lot of things involving penis. I'm gonna be straight with you guys. He, like, he called me so many names. And you know what? When I was a kid, it mattered. But once I grew up, once I was in high school, it didn't matter anymore. People could call me anything that they wanted to, and I really don't think people should get butthurt over getting called pretty much anything. I'm serious. Nothing. You should just literally brush it off and be like, whatever, man. Even if you're even if you're a very big guy and somebody calls you fat, just brush it off. People call me a nerd. People call me a loser. So be it. I am. Maybe. Maybe you need to be more accepting of yourself. I don't know. Anyways, here we go. Oh, man, it's still kind of expensive to get to that guy. We don't have enough money. So this is definitely a DDT problem level. Uh, I'll be straight with you guys. The DDTs are going to be the roughest part of this for sure. Uh, just thinking about it, um, I know we have two ninjas, which are definitely solid against those DDTs. I know we have the mortar in here, but where, when are we going to pop those camelettes, like, or not camelettes, camo, cer camo ceramics? I don't know. So anyways, after she said, do you have any friends? She was just li I, like, I just kind of, I didn't know how to answer, because, like, I, I do have some friends, but, like, what are you supposed to say? Like, do you have any friends, you know? And then she felt really, really bad about what she said. And she, like, because she said it in front of people, you know? Like, if she didn't say it in front of people, I don't think she would have felt too bad. Like, if you just call, said it to me. But I think she, like, reacted to it, like, how the other kids kind of reacted to it. And, were, and I was just like, I didn't care. But I could tell she felt really, really just... I don't know. I think she, like, gave me a better grade in the class because of it. And I'm totally fine by that. I'm totally cool by that. If people feel bad for me and they want to give me a better grade because they feel bad for me... So be it. I think that's just the way things happen, the way things should happen. I would do that too if I was a teacher. If I felt bad for a kid, I'd probably give him a better grade. <laughs> just being straight. Just being straight with you guys. So anyways, we're um, still kind of moving up in the world right now, but we don't have enough chefs. Nope, we don't. Um, so I need to do this. I need. I know, I don't really want to do this because I'm a little bit afraid of the regrows being kind of problematic. But I'm going to have to sell this. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. We have to get the Arctic Wind up. Oh, crap. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, my God. The worst timing ever for those things. Why did that have to happen? So I wasted a lot of money on those road spikes. Round 22, by the way. That was the earliest DDTs I've seen in a long time. I'm used to round 25, like, at the, at the best. So I got this up. I got him in the range. We're going to need to use our jungle drums in here. And I need to get some more Moab popping power. Whatever the heck it, I, I can do to get that Moab popping power. I need it. I absolutely do. I'm going to leave these guys on first. Hopefully they will, you know, attack the DDTs and do the DDT popping power that I need them to do. Um, maybe I should leave them on strong. I don't know. I'm just kind of afraid that if I leave them on strong, they'll start attacking so my gods down here when I want them to attack DDTs and stuff up here. But I also don't want them to attack the balloons over here, which are going to be leaking through. So this is just a bad, bad situation right now, guys. Um, look at that Zoma God, by the way. He switched sides. I don't know if you guys saw that. There was a really quick nose of a Zoma God coming out, and there it is on this side now. Uh, there's a random glitch that that happens for, for some reason. I don't know why, but it happens. So anyways, we need more Moab Maulers. That's what we need, guys. Now we've got a Zoma God coming out, but I'm not too afraid of a Zoma God. I'm still only afraid of DDTs. It's just the way it is. I'm only afraid of DDTs. All right. All right, all right. So if I really wanted to get crazy, I could probably sell my ninja. Also, you know what? Screw this guy. We don't need him anymore. We need to really concentrate on that DDT popping power. So here we go. How we doing? Here's this guy trying to sneak on through my defense, but I'm like, no, get out of my house, man. And we took him down. So that was just, oh my goodness gracious. Come on, DDTs. Get out of here. All right, my ninjas have been boss lately, but I don't know how long that is going to last, my friends. I don't know how long that's going to last. These these DDTs are getting crazy over here. Oh, oh. 
And then the mortar is just like not doing as much popping power as he should. I really would like not mind getting another one of these uh, ninjas going, but they're just too expensive for me to afford right now. So instead, we're going to stick with the Moab Maulers. Uh, another random tower that we could get, because the ninjas are very, very cheap, is a 2-3 ninja, or a 2-4 ninja. Hmm, think about it. Yeah, pretty pretty reasonably interesting. So now, the only real issue here is the fact that the DDT, like, the DDTs are coming out like crazy. Like, imagine once we get to around, I don't even know, late, later on in this game, it's gonna be, they're just gonna be so hard to deal with. So hard to deal with. So I'm probably gonna stay away from the frag bombs right now. I'd rather just go straight up 0-3 Moab Maulers. When it comes down to it, I feel like the 0-3 Moab Maulers are a little bit more effective against things like DDTs. So here we go. They're coming out, but it's not a big deal when they just come out by themselves, you know? The real problem is when you get oh my God, on top of DDTs, on top of secondary DDTs, and we have six or nine of them coming out at the same freaking time. That's when it gets really difficult. But no worries, guys. No worries. Um, we're going to be fine. Everything's going to be just fine. We're just going to pop these DDTs, decamelize those balloons, let the Arctic Wind do its job, let the mortar decamelize everything like it should. I got rid of my spike factory, which was a very crazy thing to do. If I lose some lives, so be it. At least we're going to beat this map, right guys? Absolutely. freaking lootly Is there anything else that we should think about getting? Uh, no. Not really. There's just nothing that would be like, oh yeah, that's a really good idea, Chris. No, 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 no. Now, one thing that I can do is, which is a little bit weird, if this ninja fits right here, which I think it won't because the rock, but no, it does. Perfect. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this guy on strong, and we're going to get him up to uh, hopefully a fourth tier ninja, believe it or not. I know. We're going to go for it. I'm going to go for another fourth tier ninja, and this is going to hopefully stop any DDTs from leaking through. That's the plan. We're going to stop the leakage. Stop the leakage right at the leak. And as you can tell, we're doing an excellent job at stopping these guys a little bit quicker. The only problem is now they're going to regrow just a little bit more than what we're used to. So as you can tell, a few random <sighs> regrows are trying to leak through. Regrow, uh, not ceramic, regrow camos are trying to leak through my Arctic Wind here. It's so kind of a problem overall. But we got a third tier ninja already, and only $2,000 more. Now, is there anything we can do to make this just slightly better? Sadly, no. We literally don't have anything that we don't need. This is just one of the most intense, crazy battles in the entire world. Oh my goodness, the Stag Beetle map. By the way, why do I call it a Stag Beetle map? Well, the main reason why I call it a Stag Beetle map is because I used to call it a Butterfly map. And I couldn't call it a Butterfly map anymore because uh, there's a better Butterfly map. So that being said, I was like, I had to, ch I had to change. I had to change what I've been doing. And um, to me, it looks like these are giant feet, all right? This is giant feet. This is like its body, kind of like wings or whatnot. And this is kind of just like an elongated head, and those are his antenna. Right, so that's that's the stag beetle part. I would go, I could, could call it a giraffe beetle, the giraffe beetle map, because I don't know if you guys have seen the giraffe beetle, but this is straight up giraffe beetle action right here. So we got to be really careful, man. Look at these DDTs getting really far over there, barely taking them down, and we have to use again a few sets of road spikes to try to keep it no lives lost. I'm trying, we're trying here. Getting pretty close to that fourth year ninja again. We're getting a really reasonable amount of money from these oh my gods and everything. It just it takes a long time. We're already on round 28, so it's only going to get worse from here though. But if I get that one last fourth year ninja, I will feel very very good about myself, especially if it's a 4-2. So I get a 4-0. Hey, you know that's pretty good. Um, come on, come on, come on, get him up before the next set of DDTs and Bloom Jitsu action! Woo! And we get one more 4-2 ninja. I know I got really excited, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to get excited on the tutorials, but um. Because they're supposed to be chill, man. They're supposed to be me talking to you and everything. Nah, man. I'm got, I got excited. I'm getting too excited about this game right now. Oh my god, they're getting in the way. That's the biggest problem with oh my gods. They just get in the way. You know, these ninjas are not attacking DDTs anymore when they get over here. They're attacking balloons. We don't want that. We want the Arctic Wind to kill all the balloons. It just doesn't happen fast enough. You know, I sold my third tier cannon and everything. I sold my fourth tier cannon, actually, to get this Arctic Wind. At a very bad time, by the way. Around 22s here. A few more DDTs. Eh, no big deal. Now, we have a little bit more money here. This is round 30. I am going to go for that last Moab Mauler if I can afford it. Another $900, though. We've got Oh My God, Double Oh My Gods coming out, and DDTs at the same time. So, going to be rough. Going to be rough. But we will indeed try, especially if they come out right now. Dude, no. Don't come out no more. I can deal with these balloons. I can deal with the Oh My God balloons. I really feel like I can. But anything beyond that, I don't know. I don't know what we would do. Come on, little buddies. My own little buddies. Last Moab Mala. And we're using a few little road spikes in here. And the Arctic Wind needs to pull this out of his buttocks. Come on, little Arctic Wind, you can do it. Little buddy, come on. Come on. And we are the champions, my friends. Probably one of the hardest maps that I have had to play in a long time. No farms, by the way. Crazy double kind of scissor action going on. But we pulled it out of our butts. We did an amazing job. Oh, man, excuse me. 
getting some bacon juice coming out of my throat or something. <laughs> um, yeah, I got you. All right, so that's what I'm gonna have you guys today. Obviously, this helped you out a little bit. You know, I mean, we did play a regrow DDT heart like impoppable tile. So like, this is probably gonna be one of the hardest tiles you were ever gonna fight. So if we can do this, you guys should be able to do your slightly easier tiles fairly easily, just following something very similar to this. So as always, thanks for watching, and have a super duper delicious day.